you know? <laughs> I stumbled onto something because I saw these three dust devils or whirlwinds all playing in this area. So I thought, well, I'm going to try and drive in there and get these things on video, which I'll show you what's left of it as it went away. As I approached, they went away. So I thought, well, there's something special about this place. Let me go check it out. I mean, what, what in the world? Why not? So I started searching the hills. You can see these hills, these rocks. Walking around them, up them, over them. Nothing. I was actually getting a little disappointed because I thought, wow, there's supposed to be something up here and there's not. <laughs> then I, as I was up on that hill right over there, I looked down and I saw the first sleeping circle. And then I looked and I began to see more and more and more and more. How cool is this? <laughs> How cool is that? If you like this content, yeah. please subscribe. And <laughs> hit the like button if you liked it. Don't forget to uh, share it and I'd appreciate it if you left a comment below. If you ever wondered, How and where did ancient man live? Well, here's a village. How long this village was occupied, I don't really know. But you can see sleeping circles all over the place. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all over here, all the farther up there, even more than twelve sleeping circles. Even over there. This is a rare find. All right, now we're down here. Let's take a look. But this is the closest sleeping circle, and it's rather large. The entrance would be right there. Again, we have another one over here, where another lodge was. The entrance being right here. Now we are walking where ancient man walked. I don't care if it was the Paiute, Shoshone, or Mono people. I don't care if it's all of the above. This is cool. Another sleeping circle. And this one here has slicks, morteros, where the women ground their meal. This is super exciting. I am stoked, I'm thrilled to find this. What a chance encounter, another one right there. Now this was big, look at this, the size of this thing. Incredible. What an amazing, amazing find. As you can probably tell, I'm pretty excited. I've never seen anything like this before. This is huge, look at this big one here. I can hear them right now. What an incredible, incredible thing. Let's walk inside one of these things. Let's stand where they stood. Now you gotta admit, this is way too cool. I mean, this is really cool. I am excited to be able to come across something like this. 
and another sleeping circle another place where they live this is the opening my goodness gracious how wonderful this is exciting look at you got this one here one over there check these out how cool is this how cool is this goodness gracious what an exciting find look at this slicks somebody was grinding their mill here slicks Go in here and look. How does it feel to walk where those who came before us walked? Look at this. Oh. If you think I'm excited, <laughs> you are right. Little storage place right there. Okay, here's another slick. Some rocks got in the way, but oh, it's so smooth compared to everything around it. I can only imagine what it was like. That's the one we left. This is a smaller one here. There's another one over there, but let's check this out up here. Okay, those are the slicks we saw for the grinding. So something was around here. Now remember, a lot of this dirt could have failed in their seating arrangements over the years been a lot of years all right let's go over here and check this out now we are on the opposite side of the village over there was where we started that hill over there and they used the stone they got from this hill and from that hill to make their foundations so you can see them down there. There's one right there, one right there, one right there, one right there, one right over there, one over there, one over there. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Here's the remains of one right here. A little higher ground than the others. There's another one over there. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting up here just watching your loved ones and your fellow community down there doing their daily activities? Yeah. This rock was placed here. It probably marked the solstice life is real out here <laughs> I came here to this site here to find petroglyphs but I found something much better here on the eastern side of the village or some more one there one over there one here look at how the straw
Wow. Okay. <laughs> Some of the things we do know. This area belonged to and or was occupied by ancient people, by peoples of the Paiute clan or the Shoshone. Also, people would also call them the Mono people. I don't know if they came this far south since Mono Lake is way up there, but uh, what we do know about these people is they're far more advanced than some of the other ancient people who lived in caves or would find a shelter, say, down by Indian Hill and Anza Brego, where they had this big rock and they were going to, and they lived underneath that big rock. And granted, that probably would suffice them, but these people, they made foundations with rocks for their wikiups. And they lived here and raised their families. And this village was occupied of the way for quite a while because there was a lot of sites here. And remember this land, you say, well, water, what about water? Well, there must have been water somewhere. I know that there is a river over there, small river, but a river over there. And maybe this area had more water back then than it has now, which doesn't surprise me. In fact, it could have a spring that had come out here and washed as I see a ravine down over there where there probably was water. Because springs, <laughs> there can be a spring full of fresh water coming up in one location. And then there'll be an earthquake that closes that spring off and that spring finds its way to another location. So more than likely there was local water somewhere around here probably down in there certainly over there but that's pretty far for the women to walk to get water I'm thinking that it was down in that ravine down there <laughs> this is a cool find and I hope you appreciate it as much as I do and we need to show places like this respect because although their belief system and their technology is primitive compared to today, yet there are things that they know that we didn't know. Yes, their spirituality was superstition, but they also had some basis of truth. Their way of life, well, their way of life was all they ever knew. It's how they raised their families. And when the Europeans came in, it changed everything for them. <laughs> I'm very happy that we, I'm very happy that I came across this site. What a blessing. If you like this content, please subscribe. And <laughs> hit the like button if you liked it. Don't forget to uh, share it, and I would appreciate it if you left a comment below. As long as they're good. If they're bad, <laughs> fall down. As long as they're good. If they're bad, well, I'll probably delete them. Actually, I think it's set up so bad comments don't come through. Me being a sensitive disposition and all. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for sticking with me till the end of this great adventure. Okay.